I want to show you how a human resources team might use Copilot with Microsoft 365. These are the scenarios we're going to go through. Currently, the human resources team is looking at hiring two people. We're going to hire a director of product development and also an executive assistant in that same department. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is create a job description for the director of product development. It's easy to do. Let's take a look at how Copilot can help us in Word. I'm going to use this prompt right here to write the job description. In Word, I'll go to Copilot. I'll enter the prompt right here and let Copilot give me an idea of what the job description could be. So Copilot has put together a job description. Let's copy it into Word. And here I've got a nice job description to start with. I want to take this one, I'm going to edit it to meet my needs, but this gives me a really good idea of how to start a job description. Next, let's focus on the second job that we're hiring for, which is an executive assistant. What I'm going to do is generate some interview questions so when I talk to prospects, I can have a nice set of questions to ask them. So let's do this also in Word with Copilot. I'm going to use this prompt right here. Go to Copilot again in Word and use this prompt, and we'll start Copilot. Copilot gives me a response. We'll copy it into Word. And here I have a nice start on some interview questions. I can certainly change the number. Here I just specified five, but I could specify as many as I wanted. I don't have to use these. I can change them. I can add to them. I can change the wording if I want to. But the whole idea is that Copilot gives me a place to start. It saves me a lot of time. Next, I want Copilot to conduct a salary survey for five cities for the Director of Product Development. I'm going to use this prompt here, and I'm going to also use Copilot from Word. Here's a prompt I'm going to use. We'll start Copilot. So Copilot gives me results, but it also gives me a link back to where it got those results. If I click on this one right here, so Copilot got the information for the salary survey from this page right here. And so one thing nice about Copilot is it will give you the results, but also gives you a link to how it got those results. This is important. This is an easy way to verify the results and also see if you want to rerun Copilot, which you can easily do. So I'm just going to copy these results back into Word. And there I go. I can use this so I can share this with other people on the human resources team and we can determine what the appropriate salary should be for this position. Before we continue, if you like this type of content, the best way to support us and to help others find this content is to subscribe to our channel, activate the notifications, and share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for helping us grow this channel. Let's get back to the demonstration. I can also use Copilot to create templates in Word. So let's go ahead and do that. And here's a Word template that I can use over and over again. I'm going to change it for my specific needs, but this saves me a lot of time putting together that original draft of a letter. Next, I want to develop a three-month plan for onboarding the new executive assistant. So let's do that in Copilot as well. And this gives me a way to start that onboarding plan. I'm going to want to take that and I can modify it to meet my needs. I can also just rerun it and get a different result from Copilot. I'm going to use this prompt, and this is an important point in Copilot. Really, the magic is the prompt that you use to tell Copilot what you're looking for. If you don't get exactly what you're looking for the first time, you want to change the prompt. Look at the prompt. What else can I do? You can also do iterative prompts to really narrow down or expand what Copilot gives you as a result. And this is the result from Copilot. If I don't like it, I can easily run it again and give Copilot other cues about what I'm looking for and a result, and Copilot will go ahead and do that. So we've moved ahead with hiring the executive assistant. This is a resume from the new employee, Jane. So what I want to do is tell Jane's new team a little bit about her. So I'm going to use Copilot to draft an introduction letter. So I'm going to draft an email to send to Jane's new team so they can find out a little bit about her before she actually enters the office. So let's do that. One thing that's really nice about Copilot is I can have it access other information on my system that it can use to give me a result. So in this case, I'm going to use Jane's resume. I'm going to tell Copilot where it's located. 
It's located right here. I'm going to use a forward slash, and then copy the location in, and let Copilot run. Okay, Copilot gave me some results. Let's copy that to Word. And there we go. We have a nice start for an email to our new team. I showed you several scenarios in which a human resources team can use Microsoft Copilot inside Microsoft 365 to help them complete their job every day. This will save them time and allow more coordination among the members of that team. If you're ready to deploy Copilot in Microsoft 365, download our free guide with the link in our video description.